<laughs> Not even pirates could defeat this ship. That's how powerful this ship is. It truly is the working of the Death Star. We need some rebels to defeat me. Wow, I'm transporting the pirates to a new safer location. To the bottom of this pit. Hello everyone, I am Darkraven and welcome back to Shipyard Showcase. Woo! Woo! Now, I know it's been a little while since my last Shipyard Showcase, but then again, it had been a little while before my last Space Engineers video. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Yes, anyway, this ship is called the Miles Milesians by Alloy Cat. And uh, when I saw it on the uh, Steam Workshop the other day, uh, my first thought was when I saw the interiors, this looked a lot like the Death Star insides. It looked really cool, and I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, so, I thought, let's take a look-see at it. And well, here I am. So, my first problem I found was looking around. As you can see, there's plenty of turrets, plenty of everything. But, how the hell do you enter this thing? I was like, I couldn't figure out how to enter it. There's not even a button here, you know? So, to get into it, I hacked my way in through the turrets and opened everything. Only to find out later on that, you know, Alloy Cat kind of hid a entranceway. It's pretty hard to spot. Everything seems to be airlocked, so, you know, no need to worry about that. And, you know, first thing that you get in here is the cockpit. And this is why I'm reminded of the Death Star. Just look at it. So it's tight and, you know, the... The blocks and everything, the black and white and contrasting and everything, it just makes me think Death Star, Death Star, Death Star. Yes, of course, I was a little bit disappointed in that. There ain't really much to the inside of the ship. I mean, you got up there, you got over here. And this is pretty much it, you know, a hangar in the cockpit. That's basically it to the inside of the ships. But that's not really that much of a problem because it has full functionality, you know, you know, you can park your ships here because this is basically a mobile base sort of ship that can enter and exit atmosphere at will so long as you, you have it overweighted down with cargo and it's got two large storage cargoes in the you know, so nothing wrong with that. If I remember correctly what I was reading, I think it had two refineries, two assemblers and things like that, you know, basically two of everything it needs. Now, it's not a hydrogen ship, so you don't have to worry about, you know, hydrogen to enter and exit the atmosphere. It, uh, to enter and exit the atmosphere, it's got a whole bunch of atmospheric thrusters when you're facing this way up, and then once you start to lose power in them, you turn it ass end up to fly forwards because all the major iron thrusters are at the back. See, iron thrusters, that's how you, uh, you flip it up to that way once you start to lose power and to, while you're exiting the atmosphere, you flip it up that way. So it's not really that much of a problem. It can do, you know, atmosphere or space flight, no problem whatsoever. Now, uh, there are the, actually the inside is slightly bigger than first thought because it has a, a maintenance hatch. It was every, uh, when I first did the ship, everything was locked down. All the doors and everything, I had to basically unlock everything just so I could move around the ship. It's like, whoa, I, what was the point in that? Anyway, the maintenance hatch basically gives you easy access to everything in here. Power. Oh, it's got hydrogen. Didn't notice that. Teleportation. Refineries. Looks like the author has left enough space in the refineries to do add-ons. I think there was enough space left in the uh, assemblers too for add-ons. Basically, the uh, off the creator of this ship gave you everything you could ever possibly need, and allowed it easy access to repair the ship in case something horrifying goes wrong. Every time I see these, I think that change would really make it so you can get yourself minced up by these. That would be so funny. <laughs> 
Could you imagine the first time someone in uh, uh, Keen enables this to be minced people, and then the first time someone not knowing that you could be minced just jumps on it? <laughs> Now, I haven't flown the ship yet, so I don't know how strong it is in flight, and I don't know how much gyroscopes it has and all that. So let's give flight a good go. Ooh, shiny, 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 shiny. It's a pretty good ship for, for one person. Let's test this ship's flight capabilities. Oh, wow, that's actually got some zoom to it, doesn't it? Uh, turning, it's okay, it's okay. Not great, but not bad either. You might want to be turning with your uh, keyboard instead of your mouse. Flight forwards within atmosphere is, yeah. It's not like it's a problem. Not too sure how much, uh, how much stop thrust it has. Yeah, you don't want to be leaving yourself a uh, short gap to be stopping in, that's for certain. You might wind up... Now let's test atmospheric exiting. Plenty of solar panels on this, and you've got oxygen generators too, you know, the uh, solar oxygen generator thingamabobs. So, you know, this ship is pretty much everything one person could ever need for surviving a planet or in space. You know, technically, with this ship, you've won the game, you know? The game is over. You survive. You win. Nothing can go possibly wrong unless you crash it. But the point of this game isn't to survive. The point of this game is to thrive. To win. To take control of your environment. Am I losing thrust? Yeah, I'm starting to lose thrust. Not enough yet, but let's start pushing forwards a bit. I guess it'd be a slowly tilt up as I lose more and more power. This kind of makes me think of actual flying outside of an atmosphere. You have to do it at an angle. I don't seem to be losing power yet. So, let's go straight up, see if I lose power like straight up. No, I think I can go straight up now. Cool. I think I've pretty much broken out of the atmosphere without use of hydrogen thrusters. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you know, atmosphere is still plenty away before I've actually technically broken out of it. But the fact that I can now aim up to the space, uh, straight up, you know, uh, which is where the main space thrusters are, and I'm not coming crashing down, that means I've now Basically, no chance of coming crashing down out of atmosphere, hey? That's pretty cool. Of course, this episode wouldn't be a shipyard showcase without a come crashing down. So... Oh no! Something has gone horrifyingly wrong! The ship has gone out of control! We're all going to die! <laughs> no! Somebody save us! What could have happened? I don't know. Ooh, pirates. Hello, Mr. Pirate. I love you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Mr. Pirates, I'm going to kill you. And it's going to be funny. You're going to die. And you'll cry. And I'll laugh maniacally because I'm evil. Very evil. Here we come, pirates. It's time to die. Ooh, I think I might have plenty of space to not crash. Which is a bit weird. Pirates, die! Oh no, the pirates are shooting at me. We're going to have to do a turnaround. We must ignite revenge. Die, Mr. Pirate, die. Pew, 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 pew. 
Die, pirates, die! You think you can defeat me, pirates? I, the great Mel? You could never possibly hope to defeat me, not in a million, billion, kajillion years! <laughs> and if you truly think you defeat me, I'll just ram you and knock you off that giant cliff you're sitting on. You know, I haven't seen any tyrant shoot at me lately. Maybe I blew them all up? Well, no problem. All the better to ram you with, my dear! Here we go! This is the end of the pirates as we know it! Bye, meet the pirates! Whee! <laughs> Holy crap! So that's what happens to pirates when they meet an immovable object. <laughs> oh my god, there ain't any pirates left and I'm still alive! I am still alive! Take that! <laughs> Not even pirates could defeat this ship. That's how powerful this ship is. It truly is the working of the Death Star. We need some rebels to defeat me. Wow! I'm transporting the pirates to a new, safer location. To the bottom of this pit! Come on, pirates! Let's go down! Ooh, it's falling! Oh, oh no, no, don't do that! Don't do that! Ouch! That hurts, pirates! That hurts! We're going down! Ah! Ah! Is that my refinery that just fell out? So, pirate zero, me one. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, I'm upside down. Um, well, I got a new entrance way into the ship. You know, I seem to have this fascination with crashing perfectly good ships. Odd. What sort of weirdo would enjoy crashing perfectly good ships? Well, me, of course, but that's besides the point. Wow, I think this is one of my better looking crashes too. Where's the pirate base gone? I dropped it here somewhere. <laughs> um, I did drop it here somewhere, didn't I? I didn't lose it, did I? I think I might have lost the pirate base. Brilliant! Whoa, pirate, bits and pieces of pirate and ship everywhere. Far out, my ship really tore him a new a-hole. There ain't anything left. Just bits and pieces of scrap everywhere. Now this looks like an epic battlefield. <laughs> Too bad I couldn't have uh, left like big, uh, big scratches right through the terrain, torn everything up. That's one of the disappointing things about, you know, space engineers, you know, a ship can't just f uh, dig through the dirt, leaving big ass trenches, flipping everything everywhere. Unfortunately, when the ship hits the dirt, it just doesn't dig, it just goes smash and stops. It'd be so cool to just dig out huge trenches with your crash and make things look truly epic as you blow them to pieces by hitting them. But at least there's bits and pieces of pirate everywhere. I like bits and pieces of pirate, they taste good. So yes. This ship, it's great for surviving on your own, and it could take out a pirate base in a pinch. Far out! I rammed the pirate base head on, and the worst damage it did was it took out the hangar. That was it. This, this thing was still in pretty good shape once I completely and utterly demolished the pirate base by ramming into it head on. That was surprising. What really did this in was me deliberately crashing it and flipping the pirate base onto the top of it. That was funny though. I like blowing things up. I've already said that before though. I like blowing things up. So, pirate base destroyed, spaceship destroyed, everything destroyed, thumbs up! Yeah, I win! You know, Alloy Cat, this ship might not be the Death Star, but it's far more durable than the Death Star. 
The Death Star goes in one shot. This thing takes everything out in its path and still keeps on going. So yeah, good job, Alloy Cat. You beat the Death Star. Hooray! Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this shipyard showcase. I certainly did. It was a hell of fun, and I get to blow lots of stuff up. If you like this episode, hit the like and subscribe button. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Bye! You don't think you can defeat me, pirates? I, the Great Mel? You could never possibly hope to defeat me, not in a million, billion, kajillion years. <laughs> And if you truly think you'll defeat me, I'll just ram you and knock you off that giant cliff you're sitting on.